What's up, YouTube? This is Patrick Comunidad. Today, you guys are making a lot of money today, guys. We're going to talk about a lot of things today, guys. There's so many setups running today. The market was very, very generous with us today, guys. Money, you, there, is, there is something wrong, right? You got to really put yourself with the right people because I'm telling you, if you're not making money, there are really things that uh, you want to start analyzing and be like, why am I not making money when the market is giving a lot of opportunities, guys? So it might be the people that you are around. Maybe you need to study some more. There are many things that can, can be changed and you can improve to be a better trader. But like I can tell you, the market, it is giving a lot of money out there, right? It's just about you got to pick it up, find it, make a lot of money. So before you get into, you know, the calendar, what we're expecting for tomorrow, setups, kind of recap what we talked about last night. I talk about HOBR. I hope you guys make some money with this because I told you guys I was watching this one. I told you guys how it was setting it up. We got a bars accumulating. And we ended up going from almost the 68 cents that I had on the fucking community to 1.09, guys. And again, this is one of the reasons why you don't want to miss to be in the fucking community because this is where the fun starts. This is where I am 24-7 with my traders, with my team, sharing my exits, entries, all my... Well, we do live trading, many, many things. My strategy, all the alpha strategy is here, guys. So the money is just to be picked up and really... I can even show with timestamp what we do. I alert the HOBR before anybody else, only to my students when I was 68 cents. That's when I actually started sizing into it. And as you can see, this was from yesterday. Why swing trades? Some does it take days to play out, takes a couple of weeks. Some does it the next day. In this particular case, yesterday we added HOBR, as you can see, at 68 cents to my students. I gave them all the DD, all the fundamentals, and everything that they needed to take action. And this is how I do that step by step, well detail. That is what you guys are going to receive. You join to the community. Well, anyways, absolutely, banker guys. We got a 1.9 today. That was one of them. And then another one that we've been talking about and actually made a special video was TK and no, right? Make a nice move. We had this gap, gap up set up. Very, very beautiful, guys. We make money as well on this one. But let me say, this is just the beginning. I mean, take TK and it has much more to grow. Just look at that weekly chart. Huge room to go, but I'm going to touch that in a minute. But what I really want to talk about tonight, guys, is S-E-R-B, guys, serve this stock is going crazy. You guys know I alerted this stock. If you were not forget me, you will know. We were on this stock since $3, right? Massive, two, three dollars, massive run up. And I told you guys after the first run up that this was something that you gotta and needed to take and you know keep an eye on it because NVIDIA it was a big deal here. You know, they really put a lot of money into this one, and of course, they it's for a reason, right? They do believe that this stock has a lot of potential, but SERB. I was on top of this all the day with my students. Again, this is why you don't want to miss this interaction because this is how you make a lot of money. I even told my students today I was moving SRB on the swing tree at 10 o'clock in the morning. Step by step, we make a lot of money today. You know, scaling out here and there updates. That's what you guys are going to receive. SGMO, I actually mentioned that one as well on yesterday's video. And look what it did today, SGMO. Move up all the way out to almost 70 cents. And this is just the beginning because... The trials and how they're set out, you know, how the collaboration with Pfizer, this has more to go. In my opinion, based on this weekly chart, I think that we are going to see more to offer, right? The influx of volume on the weekly is just starting here, which tells me we probably going to have more upside onto this. But it's going to need to require more patience because, you know, the float is pretty big. Okay. But anyways, guys, you know, join to the community. Uh, link is going to be in the description, guys. First comment. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow because we're going to bank. And we're going to end it up this week with a crazy, crazy day. Again, today, there's a lot of opportunities. You know, we make some money. I ended up closing with, you know, a little over over 20000 This because this was updated at 1 o'clock. And as you see, chilling day, you know, 20 grand. That's it, man. You know, really, this is all about finding the right setup, guys. And then let me pull it out of the calendar. So we're going to be ready. Now, remember, tomorrow is going to be more data. Therefore, the market is going to be more choppy. Most likely, uh, you don't want to over lever yourself, right? We are on another week. Then we have a lot of opportunities. A lot of money was made. Protect it, right? Size down. Try not to again gamble. You know, try to obviously have fun because you know trading is about to have fun. But tomorrow we got PCE coming as well. Court PC at eight and eight thirty in the morning. Personal income report, and then we have consumer sentiment final. So you know, morning is gonna be busy with these numbers that obviously might move the market in in the direction. But I don't think it's gonna sustain towards the day. I think that most likely you guys seen what we're talking about today. We ended up moving on a SPY a lot today, right? And, and that's another thing, right? We have option levels here, option trades. We have, we have everything here 
on the alpha community because you guys see i put spy levels out there for most people out but my guidance detail with spy tesla and nvidia is right here but let me show you really quick so this is what we have this morning uh we have the range right we were looking 542 and 540 for costs and puts now let me pull out spy and see what it did today right you see once he broke that once he broke the channel right that consolidation first it dipped and obviously we took the trade we took based on our levels because you see we had 540 we short that we took profits once the reversal happened what do you do guys you got to follow what you learn follow your emas you did that you're not running for 541 to 547 very solid move right and even then i also mentioned as well that this call be a potential reversal because nothing's going to run forever right this was already overextended and said it and that i've retraced it all day long literally from top to peak near the same blows like this is not a constant this is little level to level right but as we were going that's what we were doing right obviously dating with my students as you can see spy 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 tesla what we we're doing i still believe that spy uh if we actually zoom out we're only gonna pull that really quick you see we have not yet filled to that gap and we haven't closed on the good note we're still bearish though now, I talk about this one last night. I tell you, this is not good. I mean, we are mostly heading to that gap because the sellers are strong. They're going to they're gonna be bounces, but they're not sustaining those, you know, those those bounces, as you can clearly see. So that tells me tells me that tomorrow, if we break that 60MA, that 537.97, that is more likely that we are actually going to fill the gap than tomorrow, right? Just because we're heading there. So 535.25 is the gap. So we just get ready, guys, because if that happens, then, you know, you're going to be ready. If not, then you're going to be probably chasing things that you're supposed to. Now, a lot of times we see bouncing from this, you know, from the gaps. But we'll see if that's actually the case tomorrow. But we'll see if data uh, is actually going to be that catalyst. is going to move the market, you know, the market for, for the upside. We're going to have to assess. But regardless, you understand that the major direction is to the downside. Okay. Now, Tesla, let me pull it out, guys. We actually did a, a betting test and set up here because after earnings, right, even though they were awful earnings, we filled the gap down, right? We filled this gap down that we had, which of course, mostly, and actually we didn't even fill it completely. We filled a partial of the gap, but because the market bounced, we had this momentum with Tesla. And again, the same thing, whether you are a red day, whether you are a green day, you got to follow level to level. And this morning on Tesla, and as you can see here, I had pretty clear 218 for calls, 214 for puts. Once market opened, once he broke the 60, 200 EMA that we were looking for, beautiful spike to 223. Even after retracement, we ended up going to 224, 226. So many, many opportunities to trim profits on those calls and to make money only by guys following the levels that are given here. And of course, understanding how to execute them. But for first part of the morning, $5 move for another breakout, right? And then I obviously told my students, this is what we're doing. So let's take profits out, trim, you know, stay green. You got to do what you got to do to really protect your gains, okay? Now, again, what am I thinking for tomorrow? Well, again, since we actually had this balance, but we clearly reject the trend, we clearly reject uh, levels. You see how Bidex question is showing already? It tells me there's a potential that we might head again for previous lows, so which is around 210. Now, if, that, if that's going to happen, well, it's going to have to be ready. We're going to start breaking in round numbers. So right now, again, as you see, we're at 218. So obviously, if he breaks previous lows, it's going to make lows. So we're going to have we have, we're gonna have to keep track of this tomorrow. Okay. But really, charts are not looking good. Even though we have a gap to the upside now for Tesla, things are not really looking good for, for the price action and how the market is shaping. Okay. Now, NVIDIA, another stock that we trade every single day. If the setup is, is given and it's obviously properly uh, presented, but also we got levels and levels are respected like every single day guys same thing i put it out there we were looking for 115 for calls 111 for puts once we crack that 200 may right as you see we couldn't crack in the morning we flushed down we respect the level 111 and we were able to drop all the way down to 106 that's four or five dollars whether you get in whether you get on all by respecting the breakouts and confirmations right which is candle close below your emas and be well so very short there, you know, the market recover. We, we, we should have seen that. Uh, I didn't trade NVIDIA the after part of the recovery, but it did pretty short. And if you notice, NVIDIA didn't do much, right? It stayed on that range. It didn't get out of that one. So 
There is nothing to force here, right? It's very important to understand that your EMS are flat. There is no direction. Don't force it. Don't try to overtrade. Always, you're going to lose money. Now, we actually zoom in. Uh, zoom out a little. Yes, we're still looking bearish, guys. We are, I still believe, and I tell you guys that many times, that I am suspecting more lows. I, mean, I believe that we're going to head lower towards earnings. We have that gap, that gap down. You know, we are making new lows every single day. So we're actually kind of heading where we actually mentioned it. So we will see if that actually happens. So tomorrow, if the market decides to retrace more, right, it's going to have to need to break the support line. So 109.72 breaks that one, it's going to flush down. If not, if it actually bounces tomorrow from these previous lows, uh, it's going to have to reclaim the trade or at least break resistance, which is sitting around 115. And the 20 EMAs is same, it's around that too, 114.53. It needs to break this too in order in order to recall in order to reclaim the trend and attract some buyers, right? If that doesn't happen, then I really believe it's very difficult for you know buyers to sustain the moves and most likely fall off, right? But uh yeah, I mean we actually do pretty good. And again, a couple of setups that I have in the night. Again, I'm still watching this here be this momentum is crazy. I think that we're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna offer more. Again, I'm gonna be bold, but let me tell you guys, this this chart is just looking so insane right now. I mean, it's a weekly chart. We actually top 13, the weekly 14, the weekly 60 MAs of 14, 15, 14, 14 15. We cracked that one. We're going to open to $20, right? We had a two, three dollars not too long ago. We're 13 already. Do you think we, we, I mean, if you ask me, we actually going to get to 20? Possibly, right? It's no guarantee, but it's just the fact that we have BDF behind this by a lot. And we also have Uber behind this. I think if Uber reports a stake on this too, the momentum is going to go. So if he breaks 13.89, which is previous highs, I think it's going to open up. I think it's really going to really start moving up. Daily is looking pretty strong. I mean, we're right at the 200 main. So if it doesn't break out tomorrow, I think it's going to have to, ret it's going to retrace probably. And again, if it goes again to like 9, 10, guys, that's going to be a great opportunity to buy, in my opinion, if we go back down to like 9 and $10, right? So keep an eye on those zips. If they're given, you better take opportunity because I think this has more, more to offer, okay? And again, HUBR, I still believe this has more to offer. We tab $1. The chart is still there. But of course, we need to have some confirmation. So since we're at 94 cents, guys, again, ideally we want to see break that 1.09 previous highs, and then we're gonna move forward to a, a more levels, right? And as you see, again, it has plenty of room. It has a lot of accumulation. It's a 6.94 million flow, so it's very thin. So if a lot of volume comes, it can actually break out very, very strong. And like I said, we discussed this GMO as same thing, similar situation, gap up set up, right? And obviously we have the bars, we got the trend in a way. But I think that again has more to offer. This could be a potential cap and handle tool for me as well. So if we consolidate in 60 area, I think it has more, more to offer. But and then all the previous runners that we had today, guys, I think this tool is a watch tomorrow, right? There's another stocks that we've been trading besides this C Max, right? That was one of those stocks that I trade today with my students and went absolutely nuts. So let me just kind of put it out there. But C Max is another stock that it's a lot of momentum. You can see I added a 4.55. I alerted them at 12.31. And look what CMAX ended up doing, guys. Ended up squeezing over $6, guys. Almost 6.73, literally straight up parabolic move. And again, this is, has potential. It's cool. I mean, looking at the daily chart, that reminds me to those stocks that start breaking out and start making, you know, uh, higher highs. It's a 2.76 million float. So, of course, it's going to be super volatile. Of course, it's going to have those retracements. But again, looking at the chart, we actually start breaking out. We don't have a lot of resistance, you know, to like 11, 10, 15, right? Again, we've seen crazy things. Pennies, those are hot. So I'm expecting crazy things happening. But you got to be with the right people, guys. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to update all this on the Alpha community, guys. So once again, join up. Link is going to be in the description, guys. First comment. I hope to see you guys there. If you have any question, please let me know. Drop me a comment in the video, guys. Show me a message. I'm going to do my best to reach out to you guys. But other than that, I hope you guys like this updates, this video, this bangers. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Share the community. Share this, you know, this channel. We are really killing it. And again, I hope I'm really helping you guys to make the money, change your life, learn, right? All this that we are actually achieving here. Okay, guys? So I'll also see you guys tomorrow. Be safe. And I'll see you. We'll this week. All right? Bye, guys. Take care.